Hi everyone, we're so glad you're here today for this edition of Orion Outreach. We're here in the studio at Orion Neighborhood Television with members of Lake Point Community Church in Oxford. Heidi and Yvonne are helping others in the community plan Oxford Revival, which will take place the end of August. Stay tuned, let's hear what's happening in our communities. It's so good to have both of you here today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Yvonne. Well, I'm a retired airline pilot. Uh, I live in Ortonville currently, uh, but I've been attending Lake Point for, oh well, since 1987, so however long that is, and been a part of mostly the missions team uh, for, for the duration of that time. That's exciting. You're a retired pilot. I'm a retired pilot. Oh, it's good yeah. to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> How about you, Heidi? Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, well, I'm a mother of six. I um, work from home, and um, I've been attending Lake Point um, for, gosh, since, since 1997. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. How did you get involved with planning the revival? Oh, well, we, we heard about it, and I was super excited to get the opportunity. You know, we just love telling people about the love of God and how much he loves them and the great plans that he has for us. So that's exciting. Cool. Yeah. It's a four day event. Yes, ma'am. Tell yes. us how that came to be and where the location of that event will be. Well, it came to be uh, about a year and a half ago uh, mm -hmm. when the planning started. Um, obviously, we had no idea what this past November brought to us, uh, but uh, I believe God was already knowing what was going to happen. And so the planning began a year and a half ago, and we felt like this summer was the right time to finally have it. Um, the dates are, like you said, August 24th to the 27th, and uh, we have it right in Centennial Park. So we hope that we can draw not only people that are fam familiar with what we're doing, but also people that perhaps will be there for dinner or just passing through that might take an interest to see what's going on. Fantastic, are you hoping the students will join? Oh yes, absolutely. We have programs for kids of all ages. Um, we've got kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, we've got stuff going on for them um, on Wednesday and Thursday, and then on Friday and Saturday we have stuff for the um, high schoolers That's and the middle very schoolers. That's exciting. Yeah. I think it's so important to engage the youth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They want to be a part of something like this. I think they're just waiting to be invited. Yeah, absolutely. So, so. you said you have six kids. Will some of them be there? Um, actually, they're going to be on a trip with the rest of the family, so it'll just be me. <laughs> well, you'll be entertaining everyone else's kids. That's right. You're a blessing, <laughs> Heidi, for sure. Well, thank you. I heard there'll be food. Well, um, actually, we're hoping that people will be able to try some of the establishments in downtown Great. Oxford. There's some lovely restaurants there that are reasonably priced and all different types of food. So, yeah. So just go get a bite to eat and stop in at Centennial yeah. Park in downtown Oxford yes. right. and enjoy what's taking place. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that are planned? Well, um, we're, like Heidi said, we have some kids uh, events early uh, in, the, in the programming, 4.15 to 5 o'clock to 6, something like that. Uh, after that, we have some music, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. We have a, a, a couple of speakers. One will be right after that. And then we are involved in the drama presentation. Oh, uh, we'll be doing a skit every evening, a comedic kind of skit, a light skit. But that kind of will set up uh, for then the main speaker uh, to share at 9 o'clock. That's uh, going to be fantastic. Who's yeah. the main speaker? It's Peter Warren. Okay. Um, he's from YWAM um, in uh, Colorado Springs. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah, so. Youth with a Mission. Yes, that's, that's right. Oh, yeah. well, people know about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so. so exciting. And you said you're going to have music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have several bands coming, and um, some are coming from out of town at quite a distance, so we're really blessed. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Now, this has been going on for a while, and I'm part of the email string, so I get the updates of when you all meet. Tell us a little bit about the planning process and how often you're meeting to bring all of these things together. Well, um, we've been we meeting with several different churches, so it's not just our church. It's a conglomerate, mm -hmm. you know, Who are they? event. Um, so we have, um, I have to look at my notes real quick, like, um, where did I put that? Okay, so we have Lake Point, obviously. Yes. Firmly Rooted in Oxford. Oh, good. Desert River in Lake Orion. Mm -hmm. um, Echo Christian Fellowship in Lake Orion. Oxford Free Methodist and United Methodist in Oxford. All those churches are part of the planning team. Yes. And then um, Cavalry, Lutheran, and the Living Army 
um, Cavalry Lutheran is in Clarkston and the Living Army is in Lake Orion and they're part they're participating as well. That's so. fantastic. So mm -hmm. you're bringing everyone to come together yeah. and just yeah. talk about Jesus mm -hmm. and the love that he has for mm -hmm. us and That's just right. share this heart that we have for revival. Mm -hmm. Who wants to touch on what revival is? Well, I was looking up uh, the definition of revival the other day and it mm -hmm. says an improvement in the condition or strength of something. And you know, after this past year, Oxford needs its strength back. Yes. Right. So uh, we we felt that again, it, it was important that we do this now, even though it has been in planning for some time. Uh, a pastor said that revival is needed not so much uh, because of the depravity of the wicked, but because of the indifference of the faithful. Mm. See, Second Corinthians seven fourteen says, "If my people, who are called by my name," will humble themselves, will pray, will seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will forgive them and I will heal their land. And so we know that our land, and not just in Oxford, but our land is in need of some healing. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of division going on and we felt like it's time now to bring up the fact that God has a plan and purpose for everybody out there. And so we, we, we know that revival needs to happen and it needs to happen now. Well said, Yvonne. Thank you. And we're going to hear about the Word of God on, revi yeah, on the Oxford right. Revival. Mm -hmm. right. So important. People can come expecting changes in their heart, but also in our communities. That's right. Yes, absolutely. So, so retired Pastor Holt is a part of this. Tell us a little bit uh, about how he's involved. Well, um, I believe he's going to be singing and playing his guitar, which everybody loves. Yes. And um, I believe he's going to be speaking as well, and he's just a phenomenal speaker. He speaks right to the heart of people, mm -hmm. and um, he's just a very talented, very kind man, so we're very blessed to have him. I'm excited when I saw the lineup that he would be a part of this. And Pastor Rochelle Beckmeyer, she has a heart. Oh, yeah. for people, some with special needs, and those who just need a little extra love and tender care. And mm -hmm. I'm glad that she'll be a part of that. Right. And we also have Pastor Rob Johnson mm -hmm. with the Oxford Free Methodist Church, and Pastor Chad Jordan, you mentioned with the Desert River Church, and there's others as well. I'm gonna just take a moment and talk about the keynote speaker, Peter Warren. Mm -hmm. He's a native of Sydney, Austra Sydney, Australia, and is an international leader in youth with the mission YWAM, and has ministered in over 100 countries. YWAM is a global movement of Christians from many denominations dedicated to presenting Jesus personally to this generation. Mm -hmm. And then our, one of the performers is artist and songwriter Zach Radcliffe. He's a professional country and Christian recording artist, and he's a singer-songwriter at Pearl Sound Studios. We have performer Nikki Gracious. Um, Nikki began his life as an abused child in a very troubled and pain-filled environment, including having to witness do, um, domestic violence and domestic harm um, uh, to his mother. He now writes and performs music to proclaim the truth of the amazing love and mercy of God who redeems the lost sets the oppressed free and restores to those the incredible hope that something very wonderful can and will happen to all who call on the name mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ as Lord. And then we have performer Rip. He's an award-winning recording artist and producer, filmmaker and DJ. He's born in Illinois, was born in Illinois, and he's a recording artist and producer. So he created his independent record label and he's released plenty of debut songs. So we're pretty excited to know that he will be there also performing. And he was nominated for Best Contemporary Christian Album through the Grammy Awards. Mm. So people, you want to get involved in this revival. There really are some incredible speakers that this planning team has brought together so that we can have revival in our hearts and also in Oxford and the surrounding communities. Mm -hmm. So people are going to come. There's going to be a lot of people. Where should they park? What would you tell them to do? Well, there's going to be, uh, since the parking situation in Oxford is rather limited, we're going to provide satellite parking locations and shuttle everyone back and forth to the event. Fantastic. Whether you're working at the event or whether you're just coming to take part in it, 
we're going to be happy to provide that parking, uh, that satellite parking for you. That's fantastic. Now, if people want to know where those satellite locations are, where should they go to get information? Do you have a website? Uh, we do have a website. All right. Um, it is uh, support. Is it support? Um, that's the email address. So um, we'll have we have actually run have a, that a Facebook page that oh, people can good. go to. Um, can can we? Yes, we'll make sure we get the link to the Facebook page okay. and to any other media information, awesome. so people can get plugged in and find out where they need right. to go right. to Thank get you. the best up to date information. Because we know it changes sometimes. Mm -hmm. right, sure. Logistics yeah. are always interesting. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so what else do you want to tell me, Heidi, about the event? Oh well, I'm just really excited to get the opportunity to spread the gospel, share the love of Jesus with people. Um, I hope people will come, you know, where, no matter where they're at in their faith, they are more than welcome. We mm -hmm. want everyone to come, and um, I think they're really going to be blessed. So That's exciting. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. How about you? You want to share anything else with us? Well, Yvonne? you know, obviously we're going to share Jesus, okay, mm -hmm. with anyone who is willing to listen. But we also want to speak to the believers and remind them that God has more for them. Mm -hmm. and to expect more for them, okay? Mm -hmm. We know we're living in a, in a difficult world right now, and we all need hope. We all need to, to be reminded that God is still in control, yeah. and that regardless of where we're at in our lives and our faith walk, that He has a plan and purpose for everyone, mm -hmm. right? He sure so, does. So uh, that's what we're hoping for, that we can give hope back to this community and, and maybe kind of reset a little bit in how we're going to face the future. Mm -hmm. I love that. I'm yeah. coming with an expectant heart, too. It's going to be fantastic. People can walk there, too, mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. wouldn't even have to worry about trying right. to get shuttled in. Exactly. There's so many neighborhoods that surround that downtown area. They can all walk. It's, yeah. it's going to be beautiful nights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are going to look forward to this, and the word will spread rather quickly. Right. Good. So. so is there a cost? Do we have to pay to come? Oh no, it's absolutely free. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, wow. um, that's why there's so many of us together. You know, in big in numbers, just you know, all trying to do the same thing as a group. So I like that. So yeah. people are going to hear about this. They want to get involved. Who do you want to get involved, and how should they get involved? Oh well, anybody that wants to can um, mm -hmm. call our church. It's two four eight six two eight zero zero three eight, or they can email. It's requests at lakepointcc.org. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. And we'll run that across the program too so yeah. people can go back and repeat. Right. Thank you. I'm amazed how accommodating ONTV is. <laughs> All you got to do is show up and they make us, us look pretty good in the end. So <laughs> it'll be fantastic. That's I'm awesome. going to be there and I've sent information out to our youth group at the church that I go to and I'm so hopeful that kids will just start inviting each other and they'll want to be a part of this. Mm. That's it's awesome. an important time, and mm -hmm. this will help mark the school year that's coming up. Right. You know, just acknowledging God in all of this mm -hmm. um, and His presence in our lives. And kids will feel encouraged and supported mm -hmm. and loved. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. going to be fantastic. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. So you said you guys are performing a skit. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what that will be like? Well, we have four different skits, actually, okay. uh, one, one each evening. Uh, but they're uh, they're all comedic skits, so they're they're light-hearted, but they all have a point to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of them uh, that I'm in uh, happens to be kind of like a who's on first, what's on second, that kind of that banter that uh -huh. uh, Abbott Costello did. But it's called nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and nothing can separate us from the the love of God. Uh, but one guy you know, has a, is confused about what nothing means, and it just goes back and forth. It's kind of fun. And Heidi's in a different one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, we, we have four of them lined up, um, and I've been looking at all, the, all of them together, so it's all kind of jumbled right now in my yes, head. Yeah. But um, we have so many people from different churches involved, right, doing this with us. Um, actors that are just kind of coming out of the blue and coming into their own. So, you know, some people have got been experienced doing this for years since they were little, mm -hmm. and we've got other people that are doing it for the very first time, and they have this amazing gift that God has given wow. them, and they just want to share it and and have fun yes. and experience this with everybody. So I'm thinking it's going to be fun for everyone. So 
I, I can hardly wait. Yeah. There is a nice lady that helped coordinate this. Can you tell us who she is? She's here with us today. Oh, Tina Berrier. Mm -hmm. She's an amazing woman of God with yep. a heart of gold. And she's just um, so gifted at pulling together details and, mm -hmm. and focusing on these different little details. I'm a big picture person, yes. so I lean on her a lot. Yep. <laughs> so she's just an amazing gift. I got yeah. to meet her today and she was sending emails to make sure that we we're all coordinated and in our places. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what a wonderful gift to have somebody who has that gift of administration to pull things together. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. exciting. It takes the whole community, doesn't it? Right. It certainly does. Exactly. Yeah. Well, if there's anything else you want to share, let's talk about that. Otherwise, I think we've heard, oh wait, one more thing. Should I bring a lawn chair? Um, yeah. Okay, and okay. will there be, would it be good to bring like, if you're, I'm going to Pine Knob or Wildwood Amphitheater, should I bring a blanket and a lawn chair and maybe a little picnic, would that be okay? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, I absolutely. mean, okay. we're, we're gonna put some chairs out, I believe, okay. but but there, you're welcome to bring your own chairs as well because you know there might be, hopefully we'll have lots of people there, so. I'm hoping. Yeah, me too. Fantastic, too. anything else, Yvonne? No, just, uh, you know, come and, and enjoy and see what God might do for you. Um, mm -hmm. I think that those that might be even hesitant or maybe they're not religious or they're not Christians, you know, there's no pressure. Come, listen, um, enjoy the music, enjoy the skits, listen to the speakers, see what God might say to you. Maybe he's going to do a little something in your, in your own heart mm -hmm. that might make a difference for the rest of your life. Beautifully said again. Thank you so much, Heidi and Yvonne. I've enjoyed this time with you today. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I hope you enjoyed this time with Yvonne and Heidi. It really has been wonderful to hear about Oxford Revival. Our town, our time. This is what we need to do to come together and I hope to see you there. Bring your lawn chair, bring your family and be ready to enjoy a, an incredible four nights in Oxford downtown at Centennial Park. I'm Penny Schultz, thanks so much for joining us.